We have no business together. What are you doing here? It's after curfew. It's dangerous. Serial killers are dangerous. Curfews are just inconvenient. I beg your pardon? Daria Mishka, ring a bell. I, uh, <clears throat> I'm sorry, but I I'm not at liberty to divulge anyone's personal information. I'm asking for your help. Daria's missing. She's gotten herself mixed up in these harvester killings. I'm sorry to hear that, but I don't see what that has to do with me. Or with you, for that matter. Before going after her, I want to make sure I have all the information I need. I read the email you sent her. You seemed very concerned. Something about a neurosurgery you performed. Why was it so important for her to meet you here? I used to know Daria. She was a patient of mine. You're patient? You mean here at the drugstore? No, of course not. Before that, when I used to work for Tai Young Medical, big tech corporation. You know it? Enough to know I don't like where this is going. I headed a project. The cutting edge of neural science and cellular memory replacement. We dealt with people suffering from severe social disorders. We were making people better by making them better people. Why do I get the feeling you did something unethical? Unethical? Right and wrong are outdated concepts. Wouldn't waste my time with them if I were you. Whatever you were involved in has obviously hurt people. Dealing with the effects of that is a waste of time to you? We were trying to help people. Imagine what it would mean if we succeeded. Anxiety, gone. Apathy, gone. Depression, gone. Diversity gone, spontaneity gone, individuality gone. But you probably left that part out of your sales pitch. I... Daria is responsible for what Daria does. The only reason Tai Young forced me to get involved is because so much is at stake for them. Big brand name to protect. I've met their lawyers, men whose briefcases are filled with broken teeth. You must understand. I'm trying to save Daria. If any part of you cares about what happens to her, now is the time to tell me. What do I need to know to help her? Daria is beyond help. You're wasting your time. That's for me to decide. Now tell me about this procedure. And you can quit stalling because I'm not going anywhere until I get the answers I need. My job was to address people's deficiencies by integrating donor personality packages. That meant we needed lots of confident volunteers to donate time to our project. As you can imagine, people weren't exactly lining up to have a scrape inside their heads. So Tai Young had to diversify. Once again, not sure I like where this is going. Tai Young Medical cut a deal with various penitentiaries. Prisoners who took part in our programs, they got granted little perks, bigger cells, running water, the prisons, they benefited from facility upgrades. It was a win-win. You implanted the personality traits of prisoners into the mentally unstable? Smart. Let me take a wild guess. Daria's donor was Marek Svobodka, better known as the Harvester. Donor number 698843. All I saw, all I was given, was a series of test scores that showed a perfect match. Everything she was missing, he had. Nothing else mattered at the time.
An innocent woman's been turned into a vicious killer, in large part because of a procedure you carried out. I'd say that matters. Daria wasn't turned into anything. She willingly participated in a procedure. Now she is willingly killing people. You may choose to see a causal relationship between those two things, but let me assure you, it's more complicated. Save it for the lawyers. What I need to know is how to stop her. All right. Look. We obviously want the same thing here. Daria has a neural chip installed just above the hairline. She won't let you get anywhere near it. So if you're serious about putting an end to this, you'll have to... you know... What, kill her? That would be my preference, yes. Or I suppose you could just incapacitate her, but then you run the risk of having her wake up. Not a risk I would take personally. must be another way. Something that doesn't involve attacking her. I, I... I wish I could help you. Unless you're willing to meet violence with violence, Daria is not a victim. Chip or no chip, she is behind this. And she will try to attack you, no matter what you do. I don't think Daria is as responsible as you make her out to be. Taking her out and removing the chip is great for you. Gets rid of any evidence that might link her actions to your bungled experiment. But there's no way it's my only option. And there's no way Tai Young Medical would develop a sensitive technology like this without some kind of failsafe. I know you're holding something back. Like what? A weakness. An override. Something that allows me to talk to her without the influence of whatever it is you installed. Well... There is an override phrase. Daria has been programmed to react to it with specific subconscious impulses that are designed to trigger a shutdown of the chip. Why wouldn't you tell me that in the first place? Because I knew you would overestimate what it could do. You're a fool if you think you can just walk up to a killer and say a magic word. It won't undo what she's become. The decision to act on Svobodka's memories, to repeat them, that was all Daria. Simply shutting down the chip at this point will not be sufficient. That's for me to decide. What's the override phrase? Ad hominem 2026. But I warn you, do not turn your back on her. And do not underestimate her responsibility in all of this. We all have terrible nightmares. We all have visions of sick and terrible things we could do. But we don't all act on them. You must be careful around her. <laughs>